Today's lesson covers multiplying decimals. When I say just multiplying decimals, each number will have a decimal point in it. If there's a number that doesn't have a decimal in it, it'll be multiplying whole numbers by decimals. Today, as we just look at multiplying decimals, you'll probably notice something in this very first one. When we talked about decimals, when we add and subtract decimals, the four words that save our life is line up the decimals. In this, you can totally tell, uh, Mr. Goff, you're not lining up the decimals. We need to line up the decimals. Hold on. Not so fast. Not when we're multiplying decimals. Not at all. We just line it up just like the algorithm would state. The three words that you're going to remember for multiplying decimals is ignore the decimals at first. We need them later. But we just pretend that it's really 326 times 54. We would simply ignore the decimals. Okay. Because we can multiply 326 by 54 in the algorithm, definitely, even in the lattice method, I'm sure. But then we see those decimal places and we're freaking out. So ignore the decimals for starters. Okay, we start in the same spot we always do when we do the multiplication algorithm. 4 times 6 is 24. Put down the 4, carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. 0 down, carry the 1. 4 times 3 is 12. Plus 1, 13. Now, 0 there, like always, because we're treating that as 54, which means that's 50 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. So, drop down the 0, carry the 3. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 3 is 13. Carry the 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 equals 16. Okay, now we add just like regular. We are still forgetting about the decimals. Now, all of a sudden we have to remember about the decimals. The rule with multiplying decimals. We count how many digits are after the decimal. There are one, two, three digits after any decimal point in the problem. Because there are three digits to the right of the decimal in the problem, simply put, there are one, two, three digits after the decimal in the answer. Okay, and as I look at this, 3 and something times 5 and something would be about 15. Is 17 pretty close to 15? Yes. So we can think logically there to make sure that we have that correct. Now, we have 0 0.78 times 0 0.45. 78 hundredths times 45 hundredths. We are just going to, three words, ignore the decimals. And multiply just like we would. Starting here, 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 4 is 39. Bring down the 0. 4 times 8 is 32. Bring up the 3. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 3 is 31. Adding just like normal, we get 3,510. 78 times 45 is 3,510. But, yeah, we have to deal with those decimal points. Okay, so... We count the digits after the decimal in the problem. There is one, two, three, four. We count them in the entire problem. There are four digits after the decimal in the problem. So one, two, three, four digits after the decimal in the answer. And that, 78 hundredths times 45 hundredths is 3,510 ten thousands. Because neither of these numbers are bigger than one, that number is going to get smaller. So 78 hundredths times 45 hundredths equals approximately 35 hundredths because we are getting smaller. I will show that to you when we multiply grids with decimals.